Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here's your daily technical analysis of LME 3 Marv Copper and Aluminium. I'll start with LME 3 Marv Copper. A reactionary combined key reversal up and bullish engulfing pattern yesterday. Coming as it did, only two sessions after a combined key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern. This smacks a little of intraday indecision. Anyway, yesterday's attempt higher was capped by the first of three resistance levels. Firstly, there's the 50% Fibonacci line of the March 2020 to March 22 move at 76.06. Secondly, the January 2021 low at 77.07. And thirdly, the lesser Fibonacci level at 77.75. Interestingly, below the market, we have nothing of note until the wide congestion zone, 72.89 to 68.26. This is an interesting zone as it increases in strength the closer you get to the bottom of it and it has within it a congestion band between 7000 to 6800 dating from December 2017 to June 2018. However the big picture is dominated by the late August to date bear channel currently 7858 to 7067. This pressure from the bear channel down onto a significant congestion zone below may be the reason why we are seeing such potential intraday indecision. Now, so far today, what well, looks right, not right now like an immediate counting bearish harami, though it is early times as yet. The top is, top is capped by the 50% Fibonacci line at 76.06, and the market is hesitatingly heading lower. LME 3 month aluminium. A third bearish black crow yesterday and a follow on from the previous session's bearish closing black marabozo and an earlier bearish engulfing pattern. This latest move lower is as a result of the failure of the market to move above the gently sloping lower, gently sloping lower short medium moving average currently at 2334. This mirrors what happened the previous times the market tried to punch up through the short medium moving average back in late August and mid August, failing both times. This time we've had the added influence of the declining medium moving average above currently at 2437. That's a little above the current levels. In the big picture, well, I've drawn two prospective trend lines currently 2436 and 1989. These prospective uh, trend lines end nowhere. The purpose of these is that perhaps, just perhaps, the recent action since late August might just be a diamond pattern, currently in construction. I'm not saying it is, or whether this would be a diamond bottom or a diamond continuation pattern. No, 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 I'm not just saying anything there. I'm just saying it might be. It might also be a double bottom or a reverse head and shoulders, but I'm not minded to look at it for now, anything other as a possible diamond pattern in construction. Now, so far today, a follow-on lower to the recent bearish patterns, moving down to the August 2018 high at 2178, and with the October 2018 high at 2267 overhead. Thank you for listening. The short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Zeddy Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. Here comes the final bit. <laughs> 